everyone. As promised, I said I was going to do sapphire eyes. And um, so here I am today. It is September. And if you have a September birthday, then your birthstone will be sapphires. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my jumbo pencil mix in Pacific. They don't make um, a dark blue, but they do make a, a very pretty purple blue. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're going to start by putting that on the lid. If you know me, I, um, or I should say if you watch my videos, uh, I like putting the glitter on a cream base. I feel that it sticks better that way. Use any dark blue, um, eye safe glitter that you have um eventually i like to do a review on all the stuff that stuff that i have found i know that um there are two places i've gotten glitter from uh right now my favorite is glitters galore and more but you can also get gl i've gotten glitters from be a star um so those are eye safe glitter they made specifically for teenagers Okay, so use your, I like using this uh, Low Cornell Stippler Doe Foot Brush. It really, really picks up the glitter really nicely. And also, um, what I like about when you wear a cream, um, it pretty much catches the glitter and um, you don't get a lot of fallout. There we go. I think that's good. Okay. Then I'm going to be using Lime Crime again. <laughs> I guess they're just my favorites right now. I'm going to be using Medusa, which is the blue-black. That's Medusa, the blue-black. I'm going to be using my favorite crease brush. It's a small crease brush. Uh, Sony Kashuk or Kashuk. Alright. Maybe I should have put the cream all the way on top. But, okay, so... Go. I'm thinking, no, I think that's a little too dark. I'm going to mix that with, uh, with pompadour. So, there you go. We'll just mix that in. So mix in Medusa with pompadour or any dark blue eyeshadow, navy blue eyeshadow you have. There you go. There you go. And um, on top of that, I love this one. Crystal Ball. As you've seen, a uh, uh, leash I've seen. I'm not sure if any other gurus do this. If you put a black base with these uh, white duo chromes, it's so pretty. But this one, Crystal Ball, really, to me, looks like a Crystal Ball. <laughs> I don't know. It just, it looks, um, it just really looked like glass to me. I don't know when you put it on that just pretty crystal, crystally look. Okay, I'm going to put that on top as the highlight. If you mix it in with the uh, blue, it also look pretty. But for now. So, 
let me finish my makeup and I'll be right back. Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, <laughs> if you notice anything uh, blue in my scalp, I tried putting um, purple to see if we can get some purple highlights. And because my silver hairs come out, I could dye it in the next week, my silver hair show. Major fail. Let me put it that way. My scalp is blue and didn't really cover up my silver. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> my scalp is blue. But it matches my eyes. <laughs> so, um, okay. So what I did was, um, I, um, I had a lot of fallout. I don't know if you can notice. And powder doesn't help. But, um, so what I did was, when I wear glitter on my eyes, I like to use a liquid liner. So, um, I use a navy blue liquid liner. I use NYX today. And then I put my MAC uh, Zoom Lash with, um, navy blue on top of it. And, um, I put a navy blue liner under the bottom lashes. And then you can use a wide, um, uh, a, a blue. I use this, it's a matte light blue. It almost looks white, you can't even tell. But um, blue so, uh, also makes your eyes look whiter from what I understand and brighter. Um, you could use a frosty blue. When I was a teenager back in the uh, late 70s, um, early 80s, they didn't have a lot of choices. Uh, but I used to wear a, a beautiful uh, frosty blue on the inside. I loved it. Um, but because of my allergies, I, I don't think I, I tried to wear frost on the inside and it irritates my eyes too much. So also back in the day or my day, late 70s, early 80s, again, they didn't have many choices. I think this is just when the punk rockers were coming on the scene and then they started coming out with, you know, Manic Panic and stuff like that. But you didn't have many choices. You usually had like peaches, oranges, pink, rosy blushes. Um, so that's just how I like to wear my um, my blush or my blue is a pink. Uh, I used Nyx's pink today. Um, I have a Mary Kay pink that is my favorite pink china berry. But this is called Pinky. So I'm using the Pinky pink. That's probably my second favorite pink. Because, and what I love about these two pinks is that since everything was always the natural look, all the pinks are mixed with orange tones to give it a more naturally or neutrally look. And I just want pink. And I have one Mary Kay blush that does that for me. And that's not too light because, you know, pinks can be too light. And then um, that pinky blush from NYX. And then, um, again, what I used to do back then was wear my blues with pinks. So, uh, I just use Coastal Sense, was it Smacks in uh, Fusion, and I put um, Max Dazzle Glass in Comet Blue, and uh, to give it a more bluer look to match my eyes. So, yeah, uh, that's basically it, and of course, you... Um, you know, do, use shades that are going to complement your skin tones, uh, maybe, you know, just a blue shade that works for you. Maybe a dark blue doesn't work, but a medium blue works or whatever. But, um, you know, always, you don't have to use exactly what I used. You use what you have. And uh, this is what I have. Um, but, you know, so use whatever you have. You don't got to go out and spend, spend money and stuff. I've been collecting makeup since since I was a teenager, um, so, yeah, so, you know, use what you got, and, um, hope you like my look, and happy birthday, anyone who has a, a September birthday, bye!